In this unit, we are going to be exploring the work of El Aslari and creating our own images in his style. Now, in today's session, we are going to be trying to answer the question, who is El Aslari? And in order to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to learn about this character and analyse some of the paintings that he created. Now, this is the first image from El Aslari that we're going to look at. And we're going to think about what he's included in this image, how you would describe the content, and why you think that painter is actually creating this image on our behalf. So looking at this image, what are some of the main things you notice in this painting? When we look around, what are the items, the people, the objects, the buildings that you can spot? So think about the nouns that you can identify in this image. Our second question is to think of three adjectives to describe this painting. So what are the three things that come to mind when you look at this? You've created your word bank of nouns, of things you can identify in the image, and now your question is to think of three adjectives that you could use to describe them. Our third question is to think of the questions that you can have about this painting. What would you like to find out more about and why? So think of some questions that you might ask when you're looking at this image to find out some more information about what the artist was attempting to do and the reasons why he was attempting to do that. And our final question is, if you'd created this picture or it had been given to you, what title would you give to this painting and why would you give it? So pause your video and I want you to think about those questions that we've just looked at. I want you to think about what are some of the main things you notice in this painting? If you were to choose three adjectives to describe this painting, what would those adjectives be? Does this painting raise any questions in your mind? Is there anything you want to find out further that maybe you could discover through doing some research or asking the painter themselves? And finally, if this was your painting, what title would you give it? Pause the video and think about that and then come and join me when you're ready. Now this painting is called Going to Work and it was created by an artist called L.S. Lauris who lived between 1887 and 1976. And we're going to discover a little bit about who L.S. Lowry was and the reasons why he painted images such as the one you can see in front of you. L.S. Lowry began painting and drawing as a child. When he moved to Pendlebury, in 1909, he became captivated by the industrial skylines of billowing chimneys, factories and mills, and these are things that appear in many of his paintings. One of Lowry's jobs was as a rent collector, and due to this, he could walk around the city and witness other people going about their daily lives. He loved people watching and created many of his paintings from the landscapes and buildings and the people that he saw. And his paintings of people in crowds have become known as matchstick people paintings. When his father died in 1932, Lowry began to care for his bedbound mother. And she disapproved of his paintings and he would paint after she went to sleep. He looked after her until he, she died in 1939. And after this time, this is when his paintings became popular. His paintings became so popular that he was an official war artist during World War II and was even appointed the official artist of Queen Elizabeth II's coronation. Now we're going to explore some of Ellis Lowry's other paintings. This is going to match by Ellis Lowry. This one was painted in 1928. This painting was entitled Coming from the Mill, and this one was painted in 1930 by Ellis Lowry. Here we can see the 1935 painting, A Fight.
And here we've got a landmark by Ellis Lowry, painted in 1936. This was the image we looked at at the beginning of the session, called Going to Work, painted by Ellis Lowry in 1943. And here we have, from 1946, Lancashire Fair, Good Friday, in Daisy Nook. Here we have Ellis Lowry's The Pond, created in 1950. And this one, The House on the Moor, by Ellis Lowry, painted in the same year. We have Industrial Landscape, painted in 1955 by Lowry. Here we have Flowers in the Window by Ellis Lowry in 1956. Here we've got Francis Street in Salford by Ellis Lowry in 1957. And here we have 1957's painting, Man Lying on the Wall. Our next painting is a portrait of Anne, and Ellis Lowry painted this in the same year, 1957. And here we have 1958's family group painting. And our final painting is of Huddersfield. And this one was painted by Ellis Lowry in 1965. When we look at Lowry's paintings, do you think there's any similarities and differences between them? Do you notice any of the things that he includes? Are the colours that he uses similar? What do you think was Larry's favourite things to paint? And what makes you think this? Pause the video and just think about the images you've seen. You'll find a downloaded version of this on the website, so you can have a look at them in more detail. And I want you to think about those questions. 